This topic is from chapter four, graphically solving, graphically solving a system of linear equations. So essentially what we do is we draw each line and then we see where they intersect. If they don't intersect at all, then there's no solution. If they do intersect, the point where they intersect is the solution. And if it happens to be the same line, then there are an infinite number of solutions all along that line. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. If I simplify, the first one's actually already in slope intercept form, so I can graph that. So if I were to attempt to graph that one, I would start off with negative two as my y intercept and then go up two and over one for my slope. Um, which would yield this line here. I'm grabbing my ruler. So we end up with this line here. Okay. Then now the second equation though, I do need to manipulate that so that I can graph it the exact same way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add four X to both sides of the equation. I get 2y equals 4x, and since there's no constant, you could put plus zero. Then I have to divide by two, and I get 2x plus zero. So the y-intercept here is zero, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, go up to and over one, and draw that line. Now what you end up with is actually two parallel lines. And if they're parallel, they're kind of like train tracks. They'll never intersect, ever. So in this case, what we say is that there is no solution. Okay, in part B, we'll do the same thing. So here, let's graph that equation. We get two is the y-intercept, positive two, and then we go down one and over four for the slope. So the top equation will yield this graph, okay? That's this one. The bottom equation, we do have to manipulate a little bit. So we do have the minus two x on both sides. We get y equals negative two x and negative five. So the y-intercept is negative five, and from there we go down to over one according to the slope. So we've got a line that goes in this direction. Now where the two points intersect is the actual answer. Now I may have not lined up here correctly. Yep, I didn't line it up correctly should have actually gone through there. So if I had done this properly, you'll notice that the solution should have landed right here at this point. Now the coordinates of those points is one, two, three, four, negative four, and one, two, three. And so this is the solution to this particular system of equations. Now, when you graph it in Alex, it doesn't, it's not gonna have the problem with the ruler, right? It is gonna graph it correctly. And so you'll, you'll be able to see exactly where it intersects. And it should land on one of the corners in the grid so that you can get the coordinates rather easily. Um, here's a third example, same method, graphically solving the system. So the bottom one, I can, I can graph pretty easily. Start off at negative three y-intercept and then go up three and over one to get the next point. And then if I draw this in correctly, we get a line that goes in this direction. And then the second one I do have to manipulate. So I'm gonna add six X to both sides of the equation, which is gonna give me two Y, these will be gone, positive six X minus six, divide by two, 
and I get y equals 3x minus 3. Notice that it's the exact same as we had for the first equation. So when I try to graph it, I'm going to go down 3, up 3, and over 1, just the same. So on the graph, it looks like the same line. And it is the same line because it's the same equation. This one, the answer is infinitely many solutions. Why is it infinitely many solutions? Because these two lines are the same. They're right on top of each other. So where do they intersect? They intersect everywhere on this line. And because this is going up forever and this is going down forever, there's an infinite number of spots where these two lines intersect. That's why there are infinitely many solutions.